Today we're looking at electronegativity and polarity. First we need to know what is electronegativity? Well remember electronegativity is the ability to attract electrons. So if you're electrostatic you attract a lot of electrons. Uh, there's also a dipole moment which means that you have an uneven sharing of electrons. And then there's a polar covalent bond and a nonpolar bond. So how can you actually distinguish those? And what do you know about electronegativity? Well, there's actually a trend for electronegativity. And you assume in here this is the periodic table. So as we go to the right, the electronegativity increases. And as we go down, it decreases. Always remember that over here you have fluorine. It is the most electronegative element. So this is the trend for electronegativity. When we are actually looking at calculating the electronegativity, you'll be provided a chart, and you need to use the following numbers when you're determining what kind of a bond you have. To have a polar covalent bond, your number will be between 0, 0 0.0 and 0 0.4. Remember, if it's covalent, that means you have a nonmetal and a nonmetal. There's also a polar covalent. When you subtract your two numbers, you should get between 0.4 and 2.0. And this is also a nonmetal and a nonmetal. Now the other option is an ionic. And as we've already learned, this is between a metal and a nonmetal. So I mentioned polar and nonpolar. What is the difference in those? Well, if something is nonpolar, you will have equal pull with your electrons. If it's polar, it's just the opposite. You'll have an unequal pull. 